Okay. So, to start off, my M key is broken on my keyboard. That might not seem like such a big deal, but it's really annoying. You use a lot of M's. You just do. Especially if you're eating something really tasty and you're like talking to your friend, you're like, mmm, and you keep hitting it and nothing happens. It's bad. It's bad. It's not the end of the world bad, but it's bad. Anyway, so I decided to do this video blog thing. I figured why the hell not. I think I'm the only person like in my whole apartment building right now. So I can talk to myself and not feel stupid about it like I usually do. Not like it ever stopped me, but you know. Anyway, this is Butt Butt, my very fat, annoying, obnoxious cat. Um, she missed me, apparently. Um, a lot of people I work with are pretty grumpy. I don't know why. There are a lot worse things than working for who we do. Um, the place I used to work at, the freezer door was broken, so if the door shut while you were in there, you were stuck in there until some poor old lady came in to get her milk, and you had to reach out and grab her by the wrist and give her a heart attack in order to get out of the cooler. There are worse things. My first point of today, I am not psychic. I cannot read your mind. If you want me to get out of your way, just say, hey, Chris, can you get out of my way? And I'd be like, absolutely, I'd be happy to get out of your way. Can I, can I do anything else for you while I'm there? And they'd be like, no. And I'd be like, okay, great. I'm hoping if I asked them to get out of my way, they'd get out of my way too. But I'm not just going to project and hope that they pick up on it. It's not how it works. If we could do that, there'd be no need for video blogs. I could just send this all to your minds. That'd be kind of creepy. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun, actually, because, like, if you're in the middle of eating a really good dinner, I could, like, project an image of, like, a fat kid vomiting into your head. Not into your head. A fat kid vomiting space. Into your head. It still sounds horrible. Anyway, it'd be hilarious and disgusting. Anyway, so I'm not psychic. I cannot get out of your way unless you ask me to. I don't know which direction you're going in. I'm sorry. Um... I sometimes can't find things on shelves when I'm stocking. I just can't. And if you run out there and start shoving it out, it's gonna upset me, of course. I'm sorry that I'm not as awesome as you. I haven't had as much practice. And you know, sometimes I like to shove things places that I can't really. Not because of what the shelf capacity says, but because I don't wanna go to jail for shoving a box of shampoo up your keister. Speaking of shampoo, now that I'm done with my rant, I understand. So this box of shampoo just all over the place. It was disgusting. It's like some giant snotted in the middle of my palate. You know the movie Ghostbusters? And there's Ghostbusters 2 and there's that slime? That's what they must use. They must use shampoo. Because this box just exploded all over my palate. And it was all over my palate. And I think I've gotten all the boxes of sh nasty shampoo covered stuff gone and then all of a sudden I'd reach in it's like when you're picking tomatoes and it's a beautiful tomato plant and you think it's all going good and you just reach in the middle and you grab that one rotten one it was like that my box cutter my pants me everything at least I smelled nice it was herbal essences it smelled fantastic so it could be worse speaking of smelling things I compulsively smell the axe when I stock it I can't help it I said axe 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 just to get that straight it smells so good. And like the, the aftershave and stuff, there was one that was broken that smelled like somebody I know and it was driving me crazy. Like it smelled so good. And I'm like, it's two in the morning. I know you're not here, but it's like you're here in spirit. It's like that. But anyway, so I got that all cleaned up. That's fantastic. Um, speaking of things that are fantastic, besides me, and on top of that, I had the farts. I had the farts so bad all night. It was like, you know, I have the sense of humor of a fifth grader. I can't help it. Farts are funny. They make me giggle. What can I say? So naturally, I couldn't stop laughing. Every time I went to put something on a shelf, I was like, Pfft. and I was like, because, ah. you know, I was smelling the axe instead of smelling my own farts, which was pretty good. So because every time I moved to put something on the shelf, I was like, Mrah. you know, the poor woman that was working with me, she's such a sweet lady. Her name's Ellen, and she had no idea what was so funny. She's like, what the hell is your problem? And I'm like, nothing. And then she comes over to help me, and her face does that, like, thing. And I was like, yeah, that was me. And she's like, is that why you're laughing? And I'm like, yeah. And then she laughed, too. So it's okay, but seriously, like, how can you not laugh at a fart? It's funny. It's a fart. Nothing else sounds like it, you know? Especially if you're, like, putting away deodorant, and you're like, he. <laughs> it's funny. Well, this is why the grumpy people bother me. I'm all and giggles all night. Sometimes literally, like, 
around four o'clock, you know, the, the farts caught up with me and my mom made this really good ham that she sent home with me. And so like, I love ham, but it makes me poop. And so I was like, oh God, there's no way this is gonna get held in. So I like made a mad dash to the bathroom and sure enough, as soon as I get there at four in the morning, the maintenance guy is gonna go in and clean the bathroom. And I'm like, oh God. And he's like, it's okay. I'll clean the men's room first. It's fine. And I'm like, yeah, you might want to stand there for a while because this isn't going to be good. So, like, I run in. And, you know, you have those times where it's like a 10-second turd. Like, it's like your whole intestines evacuating your body. But it's like 10 seconds. But then you get, like, the 10-minute wipe, which kind of takes your joy away. Because, like, you think you're going to get away with it and they're going to think you only peed. But because they hear the toilet paper roll going kathunk 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 like 8 million times, they're like, oh, yeah, they just took a dump. <sighs> Anyway, I didn't need to explain all that. I hope that there's some people out there that it needed to be explained to that it hasn't happened to them because their life is probably so much better than mine. So my camera died on me because it's a jerk. But anyway, my batteries are dying, so I'm going to make the moral of my story quick. Is be happy while you're working. It's not concentration camp. It's not a bad thing. They're paying you to do it. How bad can it be? Have fun in life, you know? Be happy and also try to make other people's lives better. Share your stupid jokes. I'm not saying share your farts. Not everybody wants to smell them. So my camera keeps crapping the bed, but it's okay. I'm almost done. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed my little, you know, vlog thing. If you like me better in written, leave me a comment. Tell me I should stick to writing. I'll get my M key fixed. If not, if you had fun with this, I'll keep doing it. I, I had a good time. Um, I'm gonna go now. I hope everyone has a fantastic day while I'm sleeping and stay out of trouble. Don't fart on your friends unless they're into that, which is kind of weird, and I'm glad that you're friends and not mine.